What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here and today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 4 error code SU-30746-0. So this is the PlayStation 4 system software update 10.71 that just occurred and is causing a lot of errors, specifically this one, into a lot of folks' consoles and we wanted to make a video showing you how to essentially fix this, how we did the successful update and what you should do to fix this error or, or not let it happen if you are watching it before you did the update. So if you go to notifications and you will see my my uh, update was successfully installed, so you'll see it over there. Uh, and what you need to do, if you have not done the update yet and you are in the console and you see something like this happening, press the options button and delete the update, right? You don't want it to occur. You don't want to do it directly from here. You want to do it from outside of this, from safe mode, which is what I'm going to show you next. So like I said, if you're doing it on the update, you can just press the delete button. It'll stop. It won't do the update and you'll kind of back off from there. So once you do that, you want to hold on to your PlayStation button, right? And you want to go over to, sorry, uh, uh, power and you want to do turn off PlayStation 4. We don't want to put it into rest mode. We don't want to put it into restart. We want to power it off completely until you see this white light over here it stops flashing right that's the goal that's what we're trying to achieve we don't want that update to occur uh, and we want it completely turned off because that is how you enter into safe mode uh, so we're just going to kind of let it completely turn off and then I'll tell you how to enter into safe mode all right just give it a few more seconds all right, cool. You can see the white light has stopped flashing. So what you want to do is you want to hold the power button and you'll hear two beeps, one for turning it on and the second for safe mode. Mine doesn't make any noise. So I instinctively, you hold for eight to 10 seconds and you just let go around the eight to 10 second and you'll see it'll say like you're in safe mode. We'll see it in safe mode. Perfect, safe mode. The next thing you need to do is connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable and then press the PlayStation button. So you see a USB cable here connected to your uh, controller and you wanna press the PlayStation button. You cannot use the D-pad here. You need to, uh, sorry, the analog stick here. You need to use the D-pad. So FYI, a lot of folks make this issue. If you can't connect your controller, I have a link in the description from Amazon on where to purchase this authentic one from so definitely buy it don't use third-party ones they might not work so once you are in this step we're going to do a few series of options the first thing you need to do is rebuild database it says the database will be rebuilt might take a few hours to rebuild the database it, i don't think this is true it takes me 10 to 15 minutes but this is what you want to do first you want to rebuild the database before you go on to the other steps and this is because a lot of issues and errors that you're facing can be fixed due to this database issue error hence why they're giving you this option otherwise they wouldn't even give you this option right you got to think about it from that perspective there's a reason why they're giving this to you all right once you do that and you've rebuilt your database you can now move on to the next step which is moving on from option five into option three and in option three we're going to go into option three so three and then three again which is update using internet and you'll see the options here it'll say the following version of the software is available and it's interesting i've already updated i've showed you i've updated but you can actually do the update again i'll even click it i won't do it but you'll see it'll start saying like downloading the update file so you can actually redo the update from here if you'd wanted to so this is what you're going to do after you rebuild the database it's going to restart the console turn it off again come back into safe mode and then do option three three and this is what you're going to do you're going to make it update from here and the reason is a lot of times when you do it from safe mode there's no other issues there's no games being downloaded there's no network to a certain degree issue or lag occurring it's directly focusing on the update and that is what you want you want it to be updated from here directly right so you're gonna move on to this step, you're gonna press next and you're gonna let this update commence. It might take like 15 to 30 minutes and let it do it from here. And hopefully if you were having the error, it should go away. And if you didn't have the error and you are now doing the update for the first time, you should be good to go and not have this error at all coming. Now, if for whatever reason that fails, you can move on to option three, option one, which is update from USB storage device. This says connect the USB storage device that contains an update file for version 10.71 or later. You can download the update file from playstation.com. So you want to actually do the update from here and uh, if the other one obviously fails, and I have a video on this, I will leave it in the link in the description below. What you basically do is you download the update file directly from playstation.com. You put it into that USB device. It's formatted in a certain way. I think FAT32, I have the description in the video below. There's nothing else in that uh, device. That's the only thing should be this update. You put it into the console not just like this you turn off the console 
you put it in before turning it on then you go back into safe mode and come to the screen and press ok otherwise you're gonna just get an error like for example if i press ok i have nothing connected it's gonna give me some weird error and you're gonna get that error as well if you try to do this without turning it off putting it in then turning it back on you're gonna get something like this it's not connected right so you don't want that error to occur now if for whatever reason that failed as well you're gonna go to the second last option which is option six initialize playstation 4 if you initialize the playstation 4 all users and all data will be deleted from the playstation 4 are you sure you want to continue now this is going to delete all your save files all your downloaded games all your downloaded content all your videos all your clips etc etc from the console this is like a second last option even a last option possibly that you don't want to do you want to try out all the other options that i mentioned first then you want to move on to this possible option because like i said you, you don't want your stuff deleted you don't want this stuff to occur obviously you want you want the best situation for yourself right <laughs> so this is not the best situation for yourself this is not one of the options you'd like to take but sadly you might have to do this so if you do have to go down this route you press yes it'll take 15 30 minutes it's going to reformat your place to a brand new one and a lot of your errors are going to go away once you kind of do this step and go from there now if this fails as well you can do option seven oh sorry option seven which is connect a usb storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation for version 10.71 or later you can download the update file for reinstallation from playstation.com this is very similar to option three one which is updating via a usb device i have a video on this as well we'll leave it in the description below you're going to do a very very similar thing where you're just going to uh, download the update uh, the reinstallation sorry into the usb device you're going to put it into the console again turn off the console put it in go turn it on into safe mode and then come back here press ok it's very similar to option six is going to delete everything and you're not going to have anything left over so all users all save data all save games uh, this is why i always recommend folks to get playstation plus because at least your saved games can get uploaded to the cloud that's what truly matters the games can be downloaded again it's the saved data that you can't do anything about right so just an fyi there uh, especially if you're doing this before the update even happened i would highly advise you to get playstation plus make sure all your stuff is in the cloud and you're good to go um so yeah these this would be like your final option to do and to try before kind of like yeah you should be good to go this will fix your error and you should not have this persist any longer uh so yeah basically if you guys still have any comments questions or concerns just let me know in the comment section below i'm more than happy to help you guys out if you guys overall like this video do please smash that like button also if you guys have any other like comments questions or concerns just let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make like other error videos or if you want me to like explore different console videos that may be occurring like xbox nintendo pc uh playstation 5 whatever etc etc let me know in the comment section below I'm, i love to like kind of dive into that assist and like fix those issues to like give you a path forward and what to do instead of being stuck and stalemate in one spot right so yeah that's usually the goal that's where i try to help out and try to go from there uh so yeah <laughs> that's basically it uh uh if you guys again have no other comments question concerns uh do like the video subscribe to the channel and ball gaming out peace